How you doing guys? Just like to go through the new cables and the new controllers we've got, just so I can show you the difference. These are the standard EC fan controller and balancer. These units need a power pack, so basically they need to take power from the mains to actively turn these on. These controllers use the standard cables which are black, so basically I've got black ends on the splitter and the cable. This is because there's no power going through these at all. The controller actually takes the power from a wall into the controller through your, through your UK switch. The new controllers that we do need to have active cables because the special thing about these guys, we don't need a power pack to, to run them. The fan actually gives out 12 volts or 10 volts, which will basically power the controller. So what you need, you need active cables. And the active means basically the third core in here is powered from the fan. So when you look at the fan, you've got a three pin connection. You connect the white to the white, the white to the connector, and that draws power directly from the fan to power the controllers. If you're gonna split the uh, split the signal, you'll need an active splitter as well. So all you've got to think, if you've got white connections on your fan controller, you need active cables, simple as that. If you've got black, then standard cables will do. We are gonna phase the standard cables out eventually once we change the controllers, but for now, these are for the black cables and the active cables work with this fan for the active fan controllers. Any issues, go on the website, globalairsplies.co.uk or simply give us a call, we'll do a little bit of explanation and we'll, we'll help where we can. But yeah, it's pretty easy, active cables for these, non-active cables for these. Cheers guys.